Shalom, shalom, mishpokha. Welcome to another edition of Ray Bash's Ramblings. I'm your host, Rabbi Yehuda Ben Shomer, and today I'm going to be talking about a very delicate, uh, very touchy subject that may set off a bunch of nasty uh, emails to me or, or messages or what have you, but I mean no disrespect. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not out on the war path or on the attack. I'm just basically stating the obvious, basically saying things that, that other people are thinking but really nobody wants to say uh, because of the repercussions. And within this conversation, uh, I'm involved in this. Uh, we all are. It's not, uh, what, I'm, what I'm about to speak on is not uh, just isolated to one group or this group or that group. Everybody. It deals with everybody. And it's the realm of religion and religious leaders and how in this day and age, they're nothing but a joke. The world, the secular world, the agnostic and atheistic world, the non-believing secular world looks at religion, predominantly the Abrahamic faiths of Christianity, you know, Judaism and Islam, and they look and they look at the leaders and they say, what a joke, what a joke. I don't do half the crazy stuff they do. And you know, what makes them better than me? What makes their chances of getting into heaven or the afterlife better than mine? You know, I don't do half the stuff they do. What am I talking about? Well, you know, 50 years ago, uh, if somebody was to be a pastor or a minister or a priest or a rabbi uh, or even an imam, it was a very respectable uh, profession. You were considered a pillar in the community. You were highly respected. Uh, your position and your job was pretty much above reproach. Um, everybody looked up to you and, and um, respected you. Even the most dastardly heathen would watch their speech around you. But that's not the case today. Um, why is this? Because of the media circus. Uh, I'm not saying that the media is totally wrong because if they're exposing the truth and any of the things that they have exposed are true, you know, then, then the people that are perpetrators and guilty parties in this um, deserve what they get. But the bad and evil things that, that th these small groups of people do in the name of God and in the name of religion and give faith and give true believers black eyes um, falls upon the other people who are doing it right, falls upon the other people who are pure and sincere and holy and righteous and just in their faith and in their walk and in their cause. You have these sex scandals. You know, TV evangelist, uh, you know, Robin, Robin money from old ladies and, and young kids, uh, <clears throat> the, the, the sex scandals where these TV evangelists and ministers that are in the public eye, you know, are uh, caught with prostitutes, some male and some female. You have the big Catholic uh, scandal of priests molesting little boys and girls. Uh, I mean, it, you know, it goes from money and sex. Basically, that's the whole gamut, money and sex. And uh, it's, it's given religion, and it's given a faith a black eye. Uh, and, it, and it's harder and harder for people who are of the true faith and who follow the scriptures to the best of their ability and who are sincere in their belief and their walk with God and with the Messiah to hold their head up high and you know because when somebody knows that you're either a Christian or that you're you know a Netzari or a Messianic Jew uh, they automatically you know look at you a little bit differently because oh you're one of those <laughs> oh you know and uh, this has been going on for years not only with with uh, with bad things such as the money and sex scandals but I remember, as I was growing up in the Fruel Baptist denomination, I remember when the Holy Spirit would fall upon the congregation so strongly that people would cry, run down the aisles, fall on people's necks and just weep, jump in pews even. But when the 70s came into its full swing and came the charismatic movement and the Holy Roller movement, it was never verbally or uh, written down as a statement that we're gonna do this, but I noticed that the denomination backed up and quenched the spirit and said, hey, we don't want to be labeled as these holy rollers. We don't want to be labeled as these, you know, charismatic Pentecostal type people. So we're going to restrain ourselves and be a little bit more orderly or whatever. And, uh, 
you know, I mean, there's there's separations and demarcations where people says, well, you know, I'm a believer, but I don't want to be pegged as one of those, or I don't want to be pegged like him. And some people have come to the point in their walk and in their faith that, you know what, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not going to call myself a Christian anymore because of the such bad name that it has. I'm not going to call myself a messianic anymore because they're now they're starting to say we're, um, we, we're messy antics. And, um, you know, I'm just tired of all these labels. I'm tired of all these things. I'm not going to call myself. I'm just going to call myself a believer. And you know what? I, you know, I totally understand, and I don't, I don't blame you whatsoever. And um, you know, I've said that in my heart and in my mind as well. Hey, I'm just going to call myself a believer because the only way that we're going to combat this is is not excusing these people when they're caught in the wrong, not excusing these people when they're caught up in these sex and money scandals or doing these totally uh, weird and wacko things in the name of Scripture and in the name of God and the name name of faith. And they're producing and making all these cults. And, you know, I mean, another thing that gives believers a bad name is people like David Koresh and, and Jim Jones and, and uh, you know, all these other cults who, who claim to have some link to Christianity or Messianic Judaism. You've got these, uh, um, you know, Messianic sects now that, that are uh, promoting... Uh, polygamy when it's totally illegal and against the law and that's a whole nother topic and a whole nother subject for another time but it's just giving believers a bad name because it's there's so much division so much splintering so much infighting and if you just if you just simply walk in the footsteps of Yeshua HaMashiach and let your life speak for itself don't come to the defense necessarily you know don't uh, don't try to defend when there's no defense. Don't try to excuse when there's no excuse. Agree and say, yep, what they're doing is wrong. It's sad that they're, you know, putting a tarnish on people who are true and right and just. And it's a shame that they're, you know, put giving God a bad name, giving Messiah a bad name, giving the faith a bad name, whether it's Christianity or Messianic Judaism, what have you. And, uh, you know, don't fight against that because it's, you know, it's, it's a sad, true fact. You know, I, I kind of see it's like, you know, how sometimes when you're on the phone and you're doodling and you just don't realize, you know, realize you're doodling and stuff. And then you look down and the page is full and there's no place left to doodle. It's such a chaotic mess. You have to tear that page off and start again if you need to write a message with somebody who's who you're on the phone with. And that's the way it's become in the realm of faith and the realm of Christianity and Judaism that, you know what, we're just going to have to totally tear that page out and start with a clean slate and start all over. Spiritually, Hasatan has, has made such an attack on faith, on people of true faith, on Christianity, and on Messianic Judaism, and has literally blown us back to the Stone Age. You know what? Run with it. Don't fight against it. Run with it. Start all over. Start from scratch. Start from the ground up and say, you know what? I'm wiping the slate clean. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk in the footsteps of Yeshua HaMashiach by walking and following the Torah, and I'm going to walk out my faith, you know, with no gimmicks, no disguises, and, you know, I'm not going to try to defend uh, all these crazy people out there that are giving faith and giving believers a bad name. And, you know, we, we, we're going to have to start all over. And we're going to deal with serious persecution. Serious. Uh, and we're going to have to endure. I'm running out of time here. i got less than a minute, so I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up. But um, live your life uh, in such a way that you bring glory and honor to the name of Hashem, that you walk in the footsteps of Yeshua the Messiah by walking and following the Torah so people can't point at you and say, what a joke.